Recently, Google has announced and released Android 5.1.1 for Android Wear, and today I'll be reviewing that on the LG G Watch, which has just received it yesterday, and we'll go over some of the features that are available in this latest uh, build of Android Wear, and hopefully some of the cool things that you can do with it. So right off the bat, we have a new thing where it tells us applications that have been installed to your Android Wear watch. So here it says I've installed the remote shutter, which is from the Google camera, Google Keep here, Google Music or Play Music, and Maps. So now we can start these apps individually, like so. And this will bring up the Maps app. And we'll grab information from your phone to your watch, of course. Uh, since my phone is somewhat far away, we can close that. So now it tells you a list of apps installed if you have apps that are compatible with it. And now we have another feature called wrist uh, scrolling. I'm not sure the exact name, but we'll have a look at that in the settings menu later. Uh, but basically you can flick your wrist uh, to move the cards up and down, like so. Sometimes it doesn't work, but um, it's still a little bit dodgy right now. So let's try again. Like, uh, really depends on how much you fling it because otherwise if you do that and you're, you know, if you've got a small wrist and your watch moves down like that, uh, it will kind of cancel out or actually reverse the effect. So if you want to go down, you've got to flick down like that, which I find is more straining on your shoulder than any other thing. So you got to be careful. You kind of got to fling it quite just like that to get, to get things working properly. So that's one of the features here. Uh, the next one is, if we go all the way to the top, you can slide in from the right to open up our new launcher. Uh, this includes a list of all the apps that are installed, like here. And also, if you keep on swiping, uh, you can see your contacts, and you can also, of course, reach the Google Now. Um, and this uh, accompanies all your commands here, voice commands, and here are the apps. So you no longer have to go all the way to start or even download a third-party launcher, but still those are available from the Play Store, and you can launch apps directly from this menu here. So one other thing is, that's big, is the new, kind of like a redesign, sort of, of the notifications. Uh, now it's easier to select between priority, uh, all, and none, rather than cycling through it with taps. Here we have theater mode, same as before. Here we have the brightness boost, which is changed from sunlight mode or something from the previous uh, version. And now we have settings. I've also noticed an increase in stability here, as before sometimes the settings menu wouldn't open or it would be very delayed. And so we have a to change the watch face. We can change font sizes now. And these are the wrist gestures that we did uh, or I demonstrated. We go like that and it would move the cards up and down. Uh, we have Bluetooth devices, which is the same, always on screen, uh, airplane mode, and now screen lock. So this is when your watch isn't used for a while and you can actually set a screen lock on it uh, after I take it off. For example, putting it on the dock, I can draw a pattern on it. Oops. And next time my watch is, uh, you know, not used for a while, it will ask me to unlock it. And one more thing that was big in this update was the new Wi-Fi, or the enabling and use of Wi-Fi here. Um, since the G Watch does have like Wi-Fi built into its, uh, you can say CPU, um, but they haven't put the antennas in, so it's quite pointless. So some watches won't be getting that Wi-Fi support but others will. The G Watch and the G Watch R will not be, while the Moto 360 and the new uh, G Watch Urban has it as well. So I think that those are the features that I've covered here and I think it's been pretty good. And there's also one more thing that I haven't found anything yet is the uh, always on apps. So I think that might be maps. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch that. Keep going to the top, whoops. And we're gonna open up where is it maps here and now we have always on apps so if I if it were to sleep it would stay still like launched in the app but I haven't found any apps that have done this yet but it's probably haven't been looking so that's about it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it if you'd like to see more of these videos feel free to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next one